I have to admit that things are really bad in Pakistan as far as the media is concerned. I have lived through many authoritarian regimes and I've lived through many periods of censorship and I've sometimes ended up paying the price for speaking up. But what is now happening is unprecedented. Every time we ask a question, our credentials are challenged, we're accused of being treasonable, um, and then efforts are uh, afoot to, to gag us. We are told that you can't use certain words. <laughs> we are told you can't interview certain people. We are told you cannot show uh, demonstrations by certain political parties. Uh, one by one they are picking off anybody who's outspoken in any way or the other. And then there's no one left. Even the channel that I was working for. Uh, we were taken off air for four days once, to three days once, because of things that I had said. But the fact that they can pull the plug on you, and the fact that there's nothing you can do, is a huge disincentive for uh, freedom. And so I'm afraid um, uh, all of us are under enormous pressure. The military remains the most powerful institution in the country. Um, if you ask people of Pakistan, who do you trust the most, who do you believe in the most, they'll say the military. That's the ethos. It's um, uh, built over a 70-year discourse, a narrative that has been created. And, uh, and rightly so, people are wary of criticizing national security institutions wherever they are. Uh, but at the end of the day, when these institutions meddle in politics in a direct way, then they bring themselves into disrepute and especially if they end up taking sides, which is what has happened now. This is not good for national security. I think this is not good for the country. I think this is uh, something that should be avoided because this is one institution that should remain above board. Pressure tactics come from several sources. One phone call from anyone who's anyone uh, in the organs of the state um, to the head of the cable operators, take so-and-so off, take this channel off, shove, block it, they'll do it. Uh, and that kills you, you know, if, if your channel is not being shown, the advertiser pulls out. The advertiser pulls out, there's no revenue, you can't pay your salaries. Uh, you can't pay your salaries, you have to have layoffs. That's what's happening. Government advertising has always been very important. But government advertising has been falling in recent years. YouTube is becoming more popular because people are freer to speak there. But even now YouTube is uh, under pressure. Uh, governments, institutions constantly write to YouTube, to Twitter, to remove content which they think is objectionable uh, in one way or another. Constantly we are having to go to the courts uh, for stay orders and redressal. Often we are not given a fair hearing in the courts because they are under enormous pressure too. Uh, so unfortunately this is uh, uh, unprecedented. I have not seen this sort of thing before. But this can change. I think the courts have to protect us. If the courts protect us, things would be different. Um, I think international organizations have to raise uh, a hue and cry when something like, uh, when untoward things happen in countries like ours. But more than anything else, uh, we have to stand up and we have to go through this phase, we have to resist. Um, it's not going to be easy, uh, there's a price to be paid for it, uh, but unity always works. Uh, and I think uh, we look forward to the day when uh, the political dispensation changes for the better.